New tonight at 6, it has been nearly five years since the mysterious boating crash that took the life of Graham McCormick. Monday, the Richmond man convicted of killing him will finally learn his fate. CBS 6 problem solver Melissa Hippolyte has been covering the story from the very beginning through all of its many twists and turns. My brother's soul still doesn't rest in peace. Three years ago, Gordon McCormick was filled with anger and frustration, upset that the Lancaster County Commonwealth's attorney, Jan Smith, was refusing to prosecute the case against John Randolph Hooper. I would really like to see somebody take this to trial and, and give it the give it the trial that it deserves. Rand, as he's known, was friends with Gordon's brother, Graham. On August 11, 2017, Hooper was piloting a boat that crashed into a bulkhead on the Rappahannock River, throwing McCormick overboard. Lancaster Sheriff's investigators said Hooper was drunk and left the scene without trying to find and help his friend who died. I just can't imagine someone he has a boat wreck or something and he doesn't hang around to find to find his passenger. But it would be nearly a year before the case went before a grand jury. Hooper was indicted but never went on trial, at least not in Lancaster County. In June of 2019, the day that Hooper was set to enter into a plea deal, the judge suddenly recused himself from the case, saying that he wanted to clear up a misconception that he had advised Smith that the prosecution lacked sufficient evidence. In the weeks, months, and years that followed, CBS 6 would produce more than a half dozen investigative reports on this case. Do you have a second? No, thank you. Including an in-depth probe of Hooper's criminal record, which highlighted a history of driving under the influence and the time he drunkenly shot a friend in Richmond's fan district. He tells me that he doesn't recall any any incident at all that night and this was probably about maybe maybe an hour or an hour and a half after the incident. Along the way Smith would lose re-election and then see his law license get suspended. He was supposed to be helping us. We trusted him. We put our faith in him for years, two years, and uh, he took total advantage of us. Um, and then tried to silence us when we wanted to voice dissent. Then there were pandemic delays, multiple special prosecutors, and changes of venue. In December of 2020, a new grand jury would hear the case and indict Hooper on a second-degree murder charge. But because of concerns the Lancaster jury pool would be tainted, the trial was moved to Norfolk. It took place in January of this year, nearly four and a half years after McCormick's death. The murder charge would be taken off the table, but when it was all said and done, the jury found the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter and failure to stop and render assistance in a boating crash. 1,616 days after speaking at Graham McCormick's funeral, Rand Hooper was escorted out of the courtroom and put in a jail cell. Once I saw that the handcuffs go on, that's when it became real. My life has been on hold. And for the first time, I really feel like I am going to be able to move forward. That was our Melissa Hippolyte reporting. Rand Hooper faces a maximum 15 years in prison. Melissa will be inside that courtroom for the sentencing, and she'll bring us live reports from Norfolk following the judge's decision.